I tell you, I don't normally for a minute. <laughs> yeah, come over to his house. You know, we used to party with him and stuff a lot, you know. And uh, Malik was always unique, you know. But still, you know, in the end of everybody, you know, um, it's about um, caring about the person, no matter what. You may have small differences with anybody, you know. But in the end, man, it's about a celebration for anybody, you know, when they transition. And that's how we felt. So I felt it was important to come. You know, what was your name again? Mike. Mike Daniels. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Ooh, I met Malik probably when I first moved to Atlanta about 11 years ago. And um, he just invited me to his house. He took me in, was a good friend to me, invited me to all his events, and I would sometimes make cakes for him and do other things like that. He was just the life of the party and always gave love and made you feel loved. He had a big spirit, and everybody saw the spirit, and you loved it. So Malik will be missed. I just wanted to ask everybody, you know, for me as being as close as I was with Malik, I just apologize that I didn't know any of y'all. Uh, but I just want to know, how did y'all know him, and then how did y'all meet? Um, well, I, we, I was good friends with Malik. I met Malik through Adrian Redland. I met him. So I knew him for seven years, then we, did, we lost contact with each other. He always talked about you, because he said y'all worked together and did, you know, did stuff. He used to do stuff. was trying to get a business together and do all that kind of stuff, because he talked about you a lot. <laughs> Clay. So yes, I, I never. I said, "Where am I get a chance to meet Clay?" Because he's always handsome, but he was a real, real good buddy of mine. Like I said, so he was real nice. So I met him through Adrian. Adrian, really. Yeah. I, I met him through mutual friends. Uh, and he was a really nice guy to me, and he always had, you know, periodically parties at his house for his birthday. He was always open, welcome people in. He cooked up a ton of food, uh, and that's the way I remember him. And you know, I was just telling another mutual friend that, you know, you have to give people respect no matter what happened in the past. Uh, you know, exactly. because all of us could have been in the same shoes. We could have got sick, we could have died during the pandemic. You know, you gotta have more love for people than what could have occurred in the past. Cause you know, people have fallen outs and that kind of thing. Don't but hold grudges. Don't hold don't grudges. Hold no. Time is not on our side it's right now. It's not on our side. Not. People Death are dying left and right. They so, are. Yeah. But I, I loved him as a friend. He always had open arms for everybody. Okay, I think I met Malik through mutual friends. Um, but he had a knack for making me laugh. <laughs> Stop. He was a good man. I mean, I loved him dearly. He was a good man. I can remember him coming to my house, um, just taking over. He's like, Jarvis, sit down. I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'm gonna do all the work. So he basically took over the party. And he was an amazing man. And I'm just, just a little real hurt by him not being here. It's, it's like unbelievable. And I miss him. I miss him dearly. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I want you to talk about him. Malik, I'm going to miss you, man. I love you, little brother. I remember when I first met you at a house party, and we just automatic just turned out to connect with each other. And ever since that house party, we've been friends. And so you're going to be truly missed. I'm going to miss all the parties that you had at your house, man. You know, I'm, I could say, I could go on and on and say more and more, but. You know, my heart is heavy. And before I start crying and be a little wuss, I think I better stop now, but you're gonna be missed. And I love you, and I know you're in heaven and you're looking down, you know? And that's it, I miss you, man. I love you so much. Rest in peace. Hi, I'm Al, and I met Malik with you. But I guess in going to the parties and everything, and uh, I liked him because he was always real, and he really was the ear for me when I went through losing my business or the, the first part of losing my business. My staff beat up my client, and they come were coming after me, you know, and I was sad. And he said, "Now look, that one will go, and you can do it again." And he was that ear for me, and I was like, "Okay, you know, I thought I was losing everything, but hey." 
you know, he was just that ear. And uh, I, 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 I thank him for that. He told me, you know, you got this, you can do it again. And he was right. <laughs> so, he was that person. Hard A and me and him, we had this thing about this, this kick thing, you know. He loved to dance. This kick thing here, this here. <laughs> you gotta get higher than that. <laughs> that was him. That was our little thing. <laughs> Hold on. Do the kick one more time. Do the kick thing. He could kick thing. He was always there. Come on, that guy. Get higher than that. <laughs> so that was our thing. That was our thing. <sighs> Everyone, we just want to thank you. You know. And you know, Yolanda. You know, for a long time, you know, I really always thought she was his sister. Really? Then he's like, no, people thought, thought, yeah. people thought so we were real. So then how did you know? How did okay. you meet him? And then I'll tell how I met him. Okay. Well, I'll go so, first. Okay, go first. I met um, Anthony probably like 20. you know what? Can you take your mask off for me? I want to see all that gorgeousness. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I met Anthony about 20, maybe about 15, 20 years ago. I was his supervisor, and I saw him at work one day, and one of his buddies, Ken Thomas, he was in our group. Um, was making jokes with Anthony. I came up and said, Anthony, you gonna let that guy talk to you like that? He's like, you know what? I'm gonna let him talk to you because I'm gonna beat his ass after work. <laughs> and ever since that day, <laughs> me and him just was friends. His birthday was two days um, before mine's and he would take balloons at my desk. When I gave him his balloons, he would give me, um, I put them on his desk. Then the next, when my birthday was on the fifth, he'd come and put the balloons on my um, birthday. And I'm like, mm-hmm. And then he would, all, I would always get him a gift and then he would always give me some extra large gifts. I said, Anthony, I know damn well. He's like, you're a big bitch. I was like, no, those are the clothes you got that you didn't want anymore, so you just put them in my bag, though. But um, he was a true trooper. And I think what I love most about Anthony is because we could talk seriously and we could always laugh seriously. And I always tell him no matter what, and this, it's sad, like I said, that I didn't know none of these people because I didn't come to the parties. But he'd cuss you out and be friends with you the next day. <laughs> sure would. But he was a terrific person because I think no matter what, he would always put a smile or laugh on somebody's face. Yeah, he would. So I met Malik in 2006 when I immigrated or migrated here, evacuated from Hurricane Katrina. So, you know, even though I'm not from Mississippi, I have moved here from Mississippi. So I met him and a, a group of friends. One of them, our dear brother Simon, who had also contributed to this and sent some money over. Lives in California. Who's in California, yeah. uh-huh. So Simon was working at Bulldogs. Malik and me and Simon was like three peas in a pod along with a couple others. They thought that I was Malik's real sister because how he used to treat me like his little baby sister. Like nobody could talk to me, nobody could touch me, nobody could nothing. And then we would go to church together. Then we got real deep, like we would go to church. Like I remember one time, you know, I was in the bed depressed, you know, and he was that kind of friend. Like if you were in the bed depressed, he literally came in the bed, got me out, picked my feet up, put my feet on the floor and said, get up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, he was that kind of friend, like, you know, you hear a lot of people talk about the partying, like, yeah, you know, we partied our ass off, but when I say when you were down and out, like, he always was helping people, he always was, like, giving his, his heart, giving the most, with no expectations in return, <laughs> that, you know, at the end of the day, we all love him so much, you know, and he was just beautiful, he was so fun, he was sick. He would dance, he could drink, he, oh, he, and he'll fight a bitch too, honey. Okay, <laughs> like, he was just fabulous. And I love him, and I miss him. And he loved my kids. He loved my kids so much. Like, he was a great man. He was a great man, and I love him, and I will miss him dearly. And I just wanted to celebrate in a good way because he, his spirits were so high. Like. Although we're all sad, like, I know he wouldn't want us to just cry, cry, cry. Like, he wants us to cry and laugh and dance and shout for him, so. And that's one thing I can say. He take in a stranger. He travel with a stranger. He'd be in Memphis, Chicago, you name it, just helping anybody else that he can. He would. And that's one thing that I definitely would say that he was there for no matter what, for anybody. He was. And he will be missed. Very dearly. Everybody need a candle. Okay. Let me go get one more thing. Y'all know I'm. I'm <laughs>
Yeah, I don't think I'm weird, but yeah, I drive to flowers to, to actually let our family We're all going to, like, you know, say I'm, our I'm last. I'm the and then we're all going to just dip out of here. We're going to call you that, brother. Right, what happened to all? Um, I can't. Okay, perfect. Does everybody have their candles lit? With the wind getting on that. Okay, well, we're symbolically trying to light the candles, but the wind won't do it. And then I have this that my dad, my ex stepdad was a pastor. He made this crown of thorns. So, you know, Malik was okay, a deep so I'm gonna, Christian. Hold up, be quiet. So I wanted to uh, symbolize yes. that, you know, I know that God loves all of us and that God loves me. And I believe that my brother is in heaven right now. Smiling down on us. Say that. Okay, so I just brought this to represent his. Oh, don't bring this shit over here. You know, in the yeah, Lord. Yes, in the yeah. Lord. And I'm just gonna uh, do a scene yeah. like this What's going on? to purify our energy. Wait, let me do it. Like this. Like this. Like this way. Oh, look, y'all, the birds coming. They think it's. Then it came on up here, They think it's. Which would I do it, Selena, with the wood or this part? No, the wood. Now, what does that symbolize? This is the Asian thing, y'all. Y'all know I'm okay. Asian, so I just yeah, gotta... Yeah, I knew you. I knew you was Asian. Look at that. I can't make... It, my energy must be off because I can't make it... Oh, it's doing it. Yeah, okay. So this is a singing bowl, and it just gives out good vibrations and frequency, you know. I just want us to get our mind and our soul and our minds ready to say our, not final goodbyes, but our prayers, sending our brother off positive vibes up to heaven you know that's why i wore these wings because you know god don't judge nobody god made us the way that we are exactly. nobody can tell exactly. nobody who god's child and children are so i really wanted to have this moment because i don't want i don't know that he this is a big part of who he is he would appreciate you doing this to you. So, I know we can light these things, so let's just light these and then we'll uh, throw our candles in the, in the water. Okay. Because, yeah, we can forget about these candles, baby. Yeah, these candles are not. <laughs> the wind is not lit up at all. It's really blowing. Look, the wind is not going to. Yeah, for the time, we're going to lock some of the wind. Now, I got these from the real fireworks store, hold so these hold might on. be we real. Might, hold on, no, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't shoot nobody. Don't shoot nobody now. Are these popping? No, hold these up. are just oh. sparkling. Oh, they okay. just sparkling. Oh, if it's going to stop popping, we may need to move. So I'm like, okay. hold on. All right. There okay. we go. Okay, okay. Wait, Give me some. Wait, 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 so, wait. Give me some, sis. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me some. Oh, them sparkling sounds. Yeah. Yo, something pop. Oh, I'm nice. Somebody nice. Up. Okay, here okay. we Look, brother, look. Hey. <laughs> hey! 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 Yeah, they. We love you, Louise. Yeah. Miss you, my old buddy. Baby. I just want to say I miss my buddy. We have become estranged over the past couple of years, but I always have a place in my heart for him. And he was a real good friend. Always made me laugh. And I'm going to miss him dearly. Yeah, rest in heaven, my buddy. All right. Malik, miss you, brother. I uh, love you for all that you Science. did for everybody. Uh, rest in peace, my brother. So I was going to say this at the funeral, but I won't. But I'm going to say what Malik told me, that if he ever died, he always wanted me to put on his tombstone that Malik fucked his ass off. <laughs> you said it in the right place. You didn't need to say it to Mississippi. You didn't need to say it to Mississippi. Not random church people, baby. Don't say it. I love you. I'm glad you just oh. said it. Said, oh. <laughs> to my dear brother, you are like a real brother to me. And I love you for the time and the energy that you gave. Amen. Love you, Malik. Malik, we're going to see you one day. 
Want everybody to eat some cake. <laughs> he, will, he loves my cake. Hey, Malik. Malik, I'm gonna miss you, little brother. I had so many, so much fun, and I just, I'm just, I'm just missing you. And I want you to know that I love you. Rest in peace, and we will see you again.